Okay, John, here's the last of the bonus properties. This is a little smaller, but this does have a pool. So we'll go ahead and uh, run through and see what you think. So uh, good just to go ahead and get a few different options and figure out where the value is. So this is a little under 1,300 square feet. You just walked into entry tile and then you've got, you know, carpet. Uh, that over there in the uh, kitchen, that's actually linoleum. So uh, this is the uh, den area right here. It's got a little pony wall and then it becomes the den. So uh, probably not good for external sleeping. You know, definitely work as a, you know, as an office or something, but with a hide to bed or something, there's not going to be a lot of privacy with no door and a pony wall. But uh, if we just come down the uh, guest wing, you've got um, some, uh, here's the uh, laundry room. Looking right here, that looks like there was water damage or so. That almost looks like some mold or something coming there on the wall. Uh, probably not a good sign. I mean, it's definitely bowing, but when I'm looking, that almost looks like some mold or fungus on it. Yeah, the way it's bowed right there, so that probably isn't a good look. So we've got linoleum here with a single sink in the bath, in the tub. And this is the uh, guest bedroom. This is a two bedroom with that den. So this is the guest room. And then if you came back out, this is the living room. Pretty compact. And then you've got this uh, small kitchen. You've got Corian with the molded sink, a uh, little breakfast area, some staggered cabinets, and then uh, this is the master right here. You got the linoleum, then right back into the carpet. They do have the little bay knockout, and then uh, this does not have the separate private door for the toilet, but you do have a door here that leads into the room. So you will have the walk in shower, the dual sinks and then a uh, walk-in closet over here. So, uh, house feels a little beat. You know, uh, you know, with the surround sound speakers, you do have some surround sound up there. And uh, looks like I did see a uh, surround knob here, so you would have uh, surround sound out by the pool. So, this price area, yeah, there are surround sound speakers here. Yeah, so it is built in. Again, a small patio cover. There's your pool equipment. That's uh, an older pump. It's not the newer ones. Uh, it's not heated. And uh, this is not going to be the pop up cleaners. This is going to be the creepy crawly. So you do have the little Baja step. You got the creepy crawly there. Uh, Pretty standard uh, size lot, not real big. It's got the bigger wall in the back, so I don't know if you like that for privacy or if it ends up just kind of looking like you're in prison. I guess it just depends how you look at it. Uh, you got these two water features here. You got a, a spill pot there, and you have a spill pot there that would uh, pour into the pool and give you a little bit of uh, white noise. So if we spin around here, you just have the one small little air conditioner here. And you can see what they could do with a small entryway. I mean, these, you know, we'll just go ahead and show you the, the side down here. So this is what they had to work with to get the pool in. So this isn't any worse than the other two you looked at. So it's definitely possible to go ahead and put a pool in either one of the other two. But if you want a pool here, you've got the pool. We're just showing you what you'd be sacrificing on the house. So we'll get this sent out and give you a chance to go ahead and kind of mull your options. But uh, hopefully this helps.